It's time for Orchard Skills. If you've ever worked with a database, you've likely worked with CRUD operations. Since databases are essential when developing web applications, it's crucial for developers to understand how CRUD operations work. Today, we'll be implementing CRUD operations in Orchard Core. <music> Welcome back. Within computer science, the acronym CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. These are the four basic functions of persistent storage. Let's implement CRUD operations in an Orchard Core web application. Let's bring up the browser here and let's head on over to github.com slash orchard skills slash orchard skills dot orchard core dot orchard CMS. And this is the basic Orchard Core CMS application. And let's go ahead and clone that. So let's click on the clone button and let's open in our desktop and let's open GitHub desktop and let's hit the clone button. All right. Now let's head over to docs.orchardcore.net and let's click on the getting started and down here, you'll see code generation templates. Click on that. And here, let's install this template. Let's copy this and let's head on over. Let's go to a command prompt and install that. All right. So what we need to do is create an orchard core dot crud directory. Make directory orchard core dot crud. And this will be our crud module. And let's go CD into that. So let's type .NET new on Orchard Core module CMS. And there we go. Let's do a directory. And you can see that it's created controllers and manifest.cs and Orchard Core.cs proj, startup.cs, and a views directory. Let's go ahead and bring up Visual Studio and bring up the solution. All right, let's right click on the solution and add an existing project. And let's go into the CRUD directory and let's add the orchardcore.crud.csproj. And open that. Let's go to the dependencies here, right click and we'll add a project reference. And let's click on the orchardcore.crud and hit OK. And then let's go ahead and right click on the solution and go to Manage NuGet Packages. And let's go ahead and update everything here. Select all and do an update. Make sure we have the latest packages. And let's go ahead and hit OK. And I accept. Okay, let's head on over to manifest.cs, Orchard Skills, OrchardSkills.com. Okay, save that. So now let's go ahead and test it out and let's run the application. So let's click on the little green plate triangle that will build and run the application. Okay, let's hit Orchard Skills for the site name and we'll just leave the recipe as software as a service. Um, the database we use SQLite and enter our credentials in, sales and password, and then go ahead and click on Finish Setup. All right, and let's go to the dashboard. Let's go into Configuration and go into Features and let's search for CRUD. And let's go ahead and enable this module. All right, make sure this is working. So we'll do a slash orchard.crud slash home slash index. And there we go, it's showing our template. So that's all set up and working. So let's go ahead and log into the dashboard and go down to features. And we we'll need to enable some features. So one of them is auto row. So let's enable that. Content fields we'll need. Let's click on content fields. Let's enable HTML. 
let's click on title then also we want content definition enable that okay I think that's all we need for the features so now let's go ahead and create a custom content type so let's go into content content definitions and content types and let's go ahead and say create new type and let's just call this meal and hit the create button and let's select title and HTML and hit save okay and let's add a field and let's add price and we'll make that a numeric field hit save and let's add another field and add ingredients and we'll make that a text field and then hit save okay great now we have our content type of meal okay let's go ahead and add some data so let's go into content items and let's create a new meal and let's put a price of oh, ten dollars ingredients let's make um, let's see beef broth onions celery beef vegetable soup and for this we'll say um, add ingredients and for two hours okay publish that all right we got our data for our beef vegetable soup and let's add one more so let's go ahead and go to content items add new meal and let's do five dollars for that bread and cheese add cheese to bread and grill and the title will be grilled cheese and we'll publish that okay so we have grilled cheese and vegetable soup okay let's bring up visual studio and let's go ahead and let's see for the views let's add a view and a new item let's go ahead and add a view imports dot html add that and let's also add new item and a content dot summary dot html add that inside of our home we would want add new item and let's add create.cs html add new item and we'll also add an edit.cs html and we already have an index.html and that's all the files we need for this okay let's go ahead and open up the csproj file for orchardcore.crud here and we're going to have to add two more NuGet packages and that's going to be navigation.core and title okay save that now let's go over to the home controller of course our view models we'll have to add that so let's go ahead and do that so let's go to here add new folder and we'll add our view models and so let's go ahead and add a new item and call it list content view model .cs. add that and for that we're going to have our orchard core dot crud view model and we'll have a list content view model with a page content items pager options and then a class content options the constructor and then we'll have an order by and then we'll have a enum content order modified published created title content status draft published all versions latest owner and content bulk action of none published now unpublished and remove going back to our home controller for that we're going to have our home controller and our content type of course is meal and then we'll have a i content manager an i content definition manager an i content display manager an i html localizer um, new i notifier i session i site service i update model accessor and then we'll have a have the home controller and 
So we have a home controller constructor and we assigned all those fields. And then we have a task I action of index and we get our site settings. We get our pager, I get our query from session query. And then we set up our query information, our max page count, our route data, our pager shape, our view page of content items, content item summary. And then we go ahead and loop through that. We go do a for each through the page content items. Then we have a view model, what's list control view model. And then we have a task action create, create and publish post, create post. And we have a task for editing, a task for edit and publish post, and a task for edit post, and a task for removing to do the delete. So these are all common CRUD operations. All right, let's go down to the create. So the create, we have content definition type. We have render title segments. And then we have a create ASP route return URL for our create. Okay, let's go to our edit. And for edit, we have an ASP action edit, ASP route content item ID. And also the content item is equal to the model that content item. And then we do a render title segments up there. And so for the view ports, we just add the tag helper here for razor pages. And then for the content.summary.chhtml, we have a div class equals row. And then we have a div for class using our bootstrap column. And we display tags, header, metadata, and then we have an action. So here's our edit and here's our delete. So one of the things I did was to add a recipe so that when someone wants to run the application, it will go ahead and enable the orchard.crud module and then also set up kind of like a, a theme for it and also create your content data types and also the data. So I put together a recipe here. And so you can see that the name of it is CRUD. And here's all the features that are enabled through Orchard Core that you need. And I'm using the theme theme and setting the home route to index home and orchardcore.crud. And then here is defining all the content types here for the meal. And then later down here, here's all the content. So I put together enough content so that you can see the, the pagination work. So, so let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and go up and hit the little green triangle run button. Okay, so let's select the thread, put it on our credentials, and then press the finish setup button. And there you go. You can see here's our meals. So that's our content type of meals. And we have a create button to create new meals. And so you can see that not all the data is shown here, but most of it is. And then we also have an edit button and a delete button. So we can actually do CRUD operations. You notice you scroll down, we have pagination. So we can hit the second and so we go down. So if we want, we can just hit create and we can say, let's do pizza. Place toppings on pizza dough and bake for 20 minutes at 475 degrees and we'll say price of five dollars and ingredients is cheese sausage flour okay and then we'll go ahead and publish that and there you go we have a pizza and say if we wanted to edit the pizza and say say we wanted to add olives and publish and so now we have olives and if you want you can click on the actual pizza it gives you the full contents of the pizza so it has five dollars um, the ingredients are cheese sausage olive and flour and our information is place toppings on pizza dough and bake for 20 minutes at 745 degrees Okay. And then if we want, we can go ahead and delete that. And now it's gone. So we have our full range of CRUD operations. To recap, we created CRUD operations for an Orchard Core CMS application. And the operations are create, read, update, delete. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. 
Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.